Welcome back to Digital Wandering. And I have a device that I thought I would possibly not show on the channel again. This is my iBook G3 clamshell running Mac OS 9. Now, over a month ago, I released a video showing that this device uh, wasn't currently functional. Uh, the Mac OS 9 version that I had at that time went haywire. And I actually wiped the internal drive on the on the device, uh, but it's back and it's running right now. And I had a lot of difficulty with it, and it took me some time to figure out how to install Mac OS 9 on here without an installation disk. But I'm going to show you how I did it today because uh, the way I did it, I don't know if if I I didn't see any other examples that was similar to the way I did it. Uh, but just to give you some rundown, what happened is over a month ago, I added an additional application to this that I found on the internet. And that application uh, should have been uh, compatible with Mac OS 9, and maybe it was, I don't know. Uh, but um, there was something off with it, and it was corrupted in some way. It didn't uh, mesh with my system, and it knocked off Mac OS 9. Uh, for the most part, I could not open most of my applications. So I couldn't open up any of my browsers. I couldn't get on the internet on this system and I could not view things like photos, video, or, uh, listen to music. Uh, so most of the applications that I added, not and often a lot of the pre-installed applications stopped working, but as you see right now, it's playing a video. This is actually my, uh, the previous video I released on this channel about WayDroid on the uh, Ubuntu Touch platform. Video's playing. I got the sound turned off. Let's just turn on the sound a little bit. Let's turn that sound back off. What I did is I um, converted uh, this video into a format that works on Mac OS 9. Uh, so yeah, it's back up and running. So let me explain how, how I did it and without an installation disk because I wasn't able to create an installation disk uh, and I'll talk about why I wasn't able to do that a little later. But what I did is I found a Mac OS 9 installation disk image. Uh, so this is a a digital copy of the physical disk that you would use to install Mac OS 9. And I moved that uh, disk image copy to my iBook G4. Here's my iBook G4. It's covering up the entire camera. And I moved it to there. Now my iBook G4, I've shown it on the channel multiple times, is running Mac OS 10.4.11 Tiger. And it also has the uh, what's called the um, the classic environment that's also active on there. So I was able to move that disk image onto that machine, and then I was able to also mount that disk image to the desktop. And when I did that, I clicked on that disk image, and it opened up a window, very much like the window here just like any folder, it opens up a window and it showed all the files that were contained in that disk image. And I just copied the files. And when I copied those files over, I moved those copied files onto a USB flash drive. Now, one thing that's very important about the USB flash drive that you use, it has to be formatted for Mac OS 9. So that's very important because if it's not formatted, it won't work. Uh, but I, in the part of the files that I copied over from that disk image, it was a system folder, also an applications folder, and I just copied everything else that was also there as well. Moved it over into that USB flash drive. Then I moved it back to this machine, and this machine at that time has a, it doesn't have any installed OS. I completely blanked out the internal drive. So I plugged the USB drive, USB flash drive into the USB port here, 
restarted the machine and it was started since it doesn't have any type of OS on the internal drive, it booted off the system folder on the USB. And when I did that, I was able to get to the desktop, uh, a Mac OS 9 desktop. Um, and what I was going to do at first is just copy the internal files from the USB and then move them, drag it and drop right into the internal drive on this iBook clamshell. But what was included in that, um, all the files that I moved over, there was a Mac OS 9 installation application that was included in there. So I clicked on that application and it opened up uh, an installation window and it picked out the internal drive, the blank drive. And then I was able just to follow the steps for installation. And I installed Mac OS 9 using that installation application on this internal drive on this iBook clamshell. And I kind of glad that it did have that internal, uh, that one of the files was an, an installation application uh, because it, it simplified the process. It was a, a, a standard installation. I have a feeling that the drag and drop for whatever reason would not have worked. Uh, but the installation went just fine using uh, the proper installation tool. And it took about 10 to 15 minutes to install Mac OS 9 back on here. So now I have a working version of Mac OS 9 um, without an installation disk. So you can install Mac OS 9 on uh, one of these old machines without an installation disk, as long as you're able to find a Mac OS 9 disk installation image that is compatible with the machine that you're using. And um, there, there are not a lot of uh, tutorials online that showing you how to do this. Uh, there is a, if, and I'll see if I can find the link for it. There is an installation instructions on, on Macintosh repository. Um, I tried to follow those installation instructions, um, but it didn't work for me. Apparently the instructions that they have there, it just, they weren't the type of instructions that I needed. Uh, it seemed like the way I did it was much more, was much less complicated too. Uh, so I can't really show a, 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 a detailed tutorial what I did. I can only talk to you about what I did because I'm not doing that process over again. Uh, these are all machines that I use and all these things that I do, I do off camera. I can only talk about it afterwards. Once it's done, it's done. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, the way I did it was much less complicated. It did require having another device, the iBook G4 uh, that I use uh, to mount and extract the files from the disk image. Uh, I'm not sure if you could do that on other machines like an Intel Mac. I don't think it would work as in the same way. At least it didn't in my experience in trying to do something similar, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really an expert in it, uh, but it worked. So it is a possibility. Uh, so I will be showing some additional things on this iBook, uh, iBook clamshell, some additional applications uh, that I have added um, to this system. Uh, to add additional functionality and have additional fun. I use this machine pretty much as a, a tool just to have fun. It's a collectible for me and I have a lot. I'm glad I can still have fun with it. And um, going forward, going into 2022. Uh, so this is the last day of 2021. And I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. Thank you very much for watching. This is Digital Wandering signing off.